against the ropes. Yeah, I'm uh, Mexican, white, and a little bit of Chinese. So huh? my uh, mom is she's uh, Mexican, um, Irish, German, and Chinese. And then oh. my father's uh, full Mexican. It's a good so, mixture right there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. What well, so, part of Mexico is uh, your dad from? Um, my dad was born in El Paso, um, okay. but my grandparents are from Juarez. Juarez, oh, okay. Man, Red Cross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. trenches. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> popped on over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, April twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of go back to that. Uh, it's in Tijuana once again. Yeah, H yeah. Tour Promotions. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you looking for the knockout straight up, or where are they no. telling you, Trevor yeah. and Ivan? Mm-hmm. Do they no, tell you box? Uh, do they just, tell you get rounds in? What are they telling you? You know, the, just set my traps up until uh, okay. I see opening and then make it happen. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I definitely, uh, definitely want to go in there a little calm. Set the pace, set the tempo, uh, make them feel a little comfortable, or make them desperate and get them frustrated, and mm-hmm. then uh, go for that knockout. But not just rushing in there, you know. I have a game plan, set it up. Knockout will come. I'm not. I can't look for it. It's gonna come. So. Yeah. So you're still at 130. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be boxing pounds. at 130 mm-hmm. pounds. The last fight it was at 135. Um, the reason why I did that was because um, I was supposed to box. I think they fought before January nineteenth, I believe. Um, but I had a, I got COVID mm-hmm. right before, so um, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't put a little quarantine weight on, you know. Yeah. So then, uh, just not to kill myself, and I just went down to one thirty five. Mm-hmm. But this time, I'm gonna go back to one thirty. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, being of Mexican and mm-hmm. Caucasian descent, or did you ever feel any, you know, adversity? You know, maybe. People telling you Miklo. <laughs> things <laughs> growing up. <laughs> yeah. Uh a little bit, man. I used to get very upset when um and I mean I I would be lying if I said I wasn't whitewashed Mexican, mm-hmm. you know, but I would uh I'd get very upset because I didn't feel like I earned the respect of being a Mexican fighter at some mm-hmm. of these Mexican style gyms. Yeah. But uh I proved them otherwise. They didn't yeah. think I was a Mexican style fighter, I would definitely prove them otherwise. Now mm-hmm. I'm thinking more, but Definitely, uh, I definitely feel like it's it's in our blood, man. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, just the yeah. way we fight. But hundred percent, I feel like it's in our blood. Oh, yeah. So I do. <laughs> Show them that a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Who did you grow up uh, watching? My first, my first boxing fight I ever watched was uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Cotto. Yeah. Hey, okay. Yeah. That's, good uh, that's, that's a good I, one. I remember my dad was telling me, oh, this dude's badass. Yeah. We're watching it, and he's just piecing up Miguel Cotto. Mm-hmm. And right then and there. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> it, was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was a beautiful fight. Yeah. And I remember right then and there, I was like, I don't want to be a boxer. Yeah. A little kid, I was like, I want to be a boxer. Yeah. 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 Was, what age were you at, the, at that point? I was uh, nine years old. Nine years old? Nine years old. Were you already like fighting at school or nah, stuff man, like that? Not really. Nah, you know, I was, I'm going I'm to be real with you. I was, I was a pussy for the majority of my childhood. <laughs> I got picked on a lot, mm-hmm. you know, didn't really have the confidence to defend myself. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until about like my my senior year of high school where I really like grew, got really good at boxing and mm-hmm. kind of stood up for myself more. But um, now going back to that question, like I was never really gotten a whole lot. I mean, I got in a few fights, but I got my ass whooped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, They were fighting, you weren't. They were fighting. <laughs> you know, Roll you, up in a ball. Yeah, <laughs> take some licks but <laughs> no nah, it was uh that's actually how i got started in boxing too mm, okay. um my dad just said man you gotta learn how to defend yourself so he threw me in a it was a uh, la boxing yeah, it was yeah. before uh, for those who don't know la boxing um was bought out by ufc gym mm-hmm. so it's not really a legitimate boxing gym mm-hmm. it's more just like a fitness kind yeah, of yeah, program yeah. so that's where i started and then uh, when i was 14 i came here and uh, learned actually how to box and then yeah went to grandpa's yeah but yeah and that's also a good transition because uh for those people who don't know you-